Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want to address a question that I often get from viewers on stream. How do I get better at Hunt? I find it kind of surprising that I even get this question, since I'm generally not known for godlike gameplay. I'm so dumb. However, I do think that I've gotten good enough at Hunt in the past year that I can offer some kind of useful answer to those who want to improve their game like I have. For some background, I have to say that when I first started Hunt, it wasn't pretty. At first, I really didn't have much fun playing the game. I had a really low KDA, rarely extracted with bounties, didn't know what I was doing most of the time. I quit the game out of frustration after only a few months of playing. Even though I had moved on to other games, something kept pulling me back to hunt. I just couldn't let the game go. I felt like the game had beaten me in some way and that really bugged me. So about a year ago, I made a conscious decision to get good at Hunt. I chose to make it my main game and base my content around it. Since making this decision, my initial KDA has tripled. Now I win more games than I lose and I generally have a lot more fun. When I first set out to get good, I first had to take stock of the things that I knew. I knew I had the physical skills to get better. I knew from other games that I could keep up with good players. I also knew I had to face the realization that what I was doing wasn't physical, it was mental. The honest truth was is that I didn't have to change so much what I was doing, but how I was thinking about what I was doing. Which is why the advice that I'm going to give here is going to be a lot different than other get good videos or tips and tricks videos. I'm not going to cover specific aspects of the game, there are plenty of guides that do that out there already. My goal here is to explain some mental strategies that help me increase my performance and hopefully help you to get to where you want to be in your hunt game. So here goes. Strategy number one, care more about staying calm than winning. Okay, so we all want to win, right? Winning feels great. People who win are heroes, they get the girl, the sponsorship, and all that other junk. But the truth about winning is not actually what you think. Winning is actually something that happens to you after you do other things to get there. It's not something you can make happen out of thin air by stressing about it. This will sound paradoxical, but if you want to win, the last thing you should think about is winning. If your mind is full of thoughts about winning, you are more likely going to lose. Hunt is a stressful game. There's lots coming at you from every direction. AI, noise clues, rapid gameplay decisions, idiots talking shit on in-game voice and more. You have way too much to think about already without adding the stress of thinking about how things will turn out in a fight or match. To build your hunt game, the first thing you should do is to learn to control your emotions in fight. To do this, you need to consciously force yourself to deliberately breathe, release tension in your hands and arms, and make smoother movement. The best way to practice this is to get in a lot more fight. Like a lot more. When you first start playing hunt, you should be pushing shots more than you're pushing clues or objectives. Seek out enemy players and practice staying calm when you are fighting them. If you come out of a fight, even if you lose the fight, and you could maintain your composure, mark that down as a win. Being calm is way more important than winning when you first start playing Hunt. Strategy number two, stay in the fight mentally. Related to how you should stop thinking about winning is staying in the fight mentally. Gamers often make the mistake of thinking about what's going on around them rather than what they are doing. Getting third party, AI attacking you during a fight, Knowing you're about to fight the bounty team can all pull you out of the here and now you need to be focusing on in order to win the fight. The best way to hone your concentration is to be mentally focused on things you are doing in the moment. Can I throw a grenade here? Can I flank now? Can I get my partner up? Should I heal first then push or just push now? Your thoughts should be constantly focused on gameplay decisions that are actually in your control. Never think about what the potential outcome of a fight could be, a past outcome, or things that don't matter to what you're doing in the moment. Don't get upset if you miss a shot or you encounter a bug. Keep your mind focused on what you can do to down enemy players and keep your teammates up. Stay in the here and now of the fight. Strategy number three, learn to lose quickly. If you're watching this video, you probably know one thing for sure about Hunt Showdown. You're going to lose and you're probably gonna lose often. Hunt is a hard game. The time to kill is really short. You can be dead in an instant, even though you did everything correct. Sometimes you just get unlucky and you lose a hunter. It's the way it goes and it happens to every player, no matter who they are or what skill level they are at. When you lose, you have a choice. You can take that loss personally and let it hang over you like a weight, or you can learn from what the moment is telling you and move on. One strategy that I often employ with my teammates is to quickly discuss where we could have done better and then point out some good things we did during the fight, and then immediately turn our focus to the next match. There's nothing in Hunt that's gonna matter outside the game. 
So when you lose, lose quickly and get into another game as soon as possible. It's only a game and there's always another bounty. Strategy number four, it's not the game, it's you. Okay, time for a little reality check, and this may be controversial to some of you watching, but it really needs to be said. It is common, too common in my opinion, for gamers to blame a loss on a game because of some glitch or something about the server connection or whatever. We all know there are bugs and quirks in video games, and they're going to negatively affect gameplay. Trust me, I've been there. I have to say though, it's not the game, it is you. Every time you hit ready on a match, you're making an agreement with the game that you accept it in its present state and you're nonetheless going to play anyways. This means you accept that your server could suck, that you could randomly get pulled out of ADS, that you could get stuck vaulting a fence and your partner will actually have to come over and kill you and revive you and take one of your bars away in the middle of a damn fight. Yeah, that actually happened to me. But the thing to do in these situations is just to move on as quickly as possible and take steps to mitigate them as much as you can. There's no reason you should waste any time talking about bugs, glitches, lags. You should just simply note them or report them and move on. I'm not even trying to mean this as a personal criticism. The only thing you can do in Hunt is to actually control the things that you can affect and to recognize that there are some things that you just can't control. You're better off focusing on the things that can help you win and disregarding the things that you can't control. So if something happens, take a little personal responsibility for your own actions and focus on what you could have done to win and stop talking about the things you want to tell yourself as to why you lost. Strategy number five, train, train, train. The final strategy is pretty self-explanatory, but it bears stating. If you truly want to get good at hunt, you need to play hunt, a lot of hunt. I currently have over 1900 hours in game and I still feel that there's so much more to work on. Some of the best players I know have over four to 5,000 hours in game and they're still going. Hunt has a steep learning curve that can make it seem intimidating at first. So if you want the rewards from Hunt, yes, you will have to put the work in. If you want to develop map knowledge, go into trials mode and walk around the map. If you want to learn specific weapons, keep playing that weapon over and over until you've mastered it. If you want to get better at positioning in game, practice that in combat situations. There are a thousand ways to play Hunt and over time you will get better at in-game strategies. Hopefully you now understand to focus on what's important when playing and you're going to put in the work to develop your own confidences in the game. There are a lot more strategies to improving your game in Hunt Shonen than what I've talked about here. I could talk about developing automatic responses in game, honing your concentration and more, but if I don't stop now, this video will be several hours long. I hope this video has at least given you some insights into what could be holding you back mentally. If you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button and let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, feel free to stop by the stream if you have any questions or you just want to hang out. Sometimes things like this even happen live. When they're behind the clock. Ah. Ah. Oh. Oh. They're all dead. Come on. Fine. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Stay tuned in for further videos on Hunt Showdown and more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.